Hi, I'm James Chappell, CTO and co-founder of Digital Shadows. I'm here to share with you the latest from our intelligence reports. In this edition, we look at the rise of extortion in 2015 and ask what does this mean for us in 2016? We look at the, ra the rise in grey hat hackers who are calling out big corporations on their security. And lastly, we take a look at the re-emergence of the Hell Forum, a popular forum on the dark web. So 2015 was the year of extortion. We saw a massive increase in denial of service attacks from the likes of DD4BC, where websites were DDoSed until a ransom was paid. We also saw an increase in the likes of the CryptoLocker malware, malware that locks up your files and uh, asks for a ransom for the unlock key. In the early part of 2016, we saw a significant actor from the DD4BC gang arrested. However, unfortunately, uh, those groups have inspired a new generation of attacks. Our assessment at Digital Shadows is that we'll see these attacks increase across the year. So what can businesses do? Well, simply put, do everything uh, that you can to respond well to incidents, make sure that you have appropriate DDoS um, defences in place, back up data where it's appropriate, and make sure that you've got decent security hygiene. These guys are out there, they're there to make a profit. The economy's been proven, it's not going away. So self-styled grey hat hacker, MLT, formerly of Team Poison, has been calling out large banks, retailers, and auction sites on basic security problems on their websites. This has obviously caused embarrassment for the firms, but is part of a larger trend where security researchers with perhaps good intentions are calling out businesses on basic weaknesses. So um, this is also part of another trend. We've seen bug bounty programs such as XSS Posed online, which are uh, list many thousands of websites that have basic problems on them. What should businesses do? Well, it's really about keeping the, getting the basics right during the release process for websites and web applications. Projects such as the Open Web Application Security Project or OWASP.org provide a great set of advice for those that are responsible for securing websites to get rid of the top 10 vulnerabilities. A focus on this over the next year would probably be a good idea given the increase in this type of attacks. So, the Hell Forum has come back yet again for a third time it would seem this time under the administration of a user who calls himself HA. The Hell Forum is an invite-only criminal forum, and it's used to trade all sorts of data, such as uh, personally identifiable information and uh, any data that can be gleaned from vulnerable businesses. What's very interesting is this forum has once again hit the attention of security researchers. On January the 18th, a, a large data dump from what is claimed to be US voters database, which includes dates of birth, names and addresses, seems to be offered for sale. This indicates quite a significant breach of US government if it is corroborated to be true. As yet, we do not have the evidence to support that. However, keeping an eye on forums like this is very important. And this case highlights the importance of continually maintaining access to these types of fora if anyone's going to continue to maintain cyber situation awareness. Thanks for watching. I've been James Chappell. This has been Walk in the Shadows.